Hi guys, welcome to Levels and Curves Photoshop. This is the first of a series of tutorials I've decided to put together to help guide us through um, what often seems like a very steep learning curve. So let's get started and open up the first tool we're going to use, uh, Levels, Control and L. In the Levels palette what we're concerned about is the left hand side, the black point, the shadows in, right hand side, the white point, the highlights and we have a histogram there to follow. So Let's look at our histogram now. This histogram here, you can't edit it. This is where we see our changes and th this is where we've got to pay attention to see what's happening to the data. So if, if your histogram is an open, go to Windows, Histogram and open your histogram. On the top, we've got the luminance ch showing channel. You can change that to show all the colors, but we'll just stick with the luminance for now. Red, green and blue are split up, channels are split up and you have a refresh button you need to hit every now and again to get the latest update on any changes you made. So let's look at the image now. When you first throw an image into Photoshop that hasn't been edited in another program and saved, um, if it's a TIFF or a FITS, you'll often see like this very dark. It's, it's like, oh, what happened to my image, you know? I, I spent all that time shooting it, but there's nothing there. Well, you've got to stretch the image, so uh, we're going to start with stretching it with levels. So let's go back to the levels palette here, and we're going to start with the highlights, the white point and bring that down, hit OK and accept that, go back to the palette and have a look, there's, there's a slight change in the histogram, the next adjustment I want to make is going to be a curves, Control and M to bring the curves dialog box up, we're going to do a standard curve and that's a three point curve and it looks something like this with a flat to finish here, this flat to finish prevents the highlights from burning out, so it's the shape of it that's important, so um, not whereabouts it is, so let's hit OK and go with that. Hit refresh, if we look back at our histogram we can see it's starting to move to the right hand side, it's starting to open up. Now we've got some room in the shadows end, so what that tells me is that we can bring the black point up, so let's open the levels up, Control and L, and raise this black point. We don't want to go too far, because we don't want to damage anything in the shadows, so anywhere around there will do for now, and we'll accept that, hit OK refresh, look at our histogram again. So now we can do another iteration of curve, so let's hit Control and M, do another standard curve, three points, one, two, and a flat to finish, hit OK, we'll accept that, refresh our histogram. Now the histogram's opened up again, the image is brightening up, so let's do a, a black point adjustment, Hit Control and L, bring the Levels palette up. Let's bring that black point up a bit. About there we'll do. Let's accept that and go OK. Hit the Refresh. Now the images, the nebulas are starting to pop out. The dark parts are starting to pop out. You can see your image now. So we could probably do one more, one more small adjustment. So let's hit Control and M. We'll do it with curves again. And this time we'll just do maybe a 2.2.12. Flat to finish, let's go with that. Hit refresh. So the histogram looks alright. So that's it. That's levels and curves, and that's how you're going to approach your image and start stretching it. Um, in future sessions, we'll be looking at understanding the histogram and what the data means. Color corrections like this image here obviously has got a green cast to it, um, and how to how to analyze the image, what it needs, and how to go about doing it. So I hope you've enjoyed this levels and curves, and it gets you going. And um, keep an eye out for future sessions.